background music fades in. Title card, why do we doom scroll and how to stop it? Hey there, ever caught yourself endlessly scrolling through bad news on your phone late at night? Yeah, that's called doom scrolling and it's more common than you might think. But why do we do it? And more importantly, how can we break free from this unhealthy habit? Stick around because today, we're diving deep into the psychology of doom scrolling and giving you practical tips to stop it for good. Doom scrolling is the act of continuously scrolling through negative news or content, even when it makes us feel worse. It's like a train wreck. You know it's bad, but you just can't look away. This habit became especially prevalent during the COVID-19 pandemic, but it's been around for a while, so why do we do it? Our brains are hardwired to pay more attention to negative information. It's a survival instinct from our ancestors who needed to be hyper aware of dangers. But in today's world, this can backfire. Constant exposure to negative news can make us anxious, stressed, and even depressed. Plus, social media algorithms are designed to keep us engaged, often by showing us more of what gets a reaction, negative news included. Doom scrolling doesn't just mess with your mood, it can also affect your sleep, relationships, and overall mental health. Studies show that excessive exposure to negative news can lead to feelings of helplessness and even contribute to anxiety disorders. So what can we do to avoid falling into this trap? Here are some tips to help you stop doom scrolling. One, set time limits. Use apps that track your screen time and set daily limits on how long you can use social media. Two, curate your feed. Unfollow accounts or mute keywords that trigger stress or anxiety. Follow positive and uplifting content instead. Three, mindful scrolling. Be conscious of why you're scrolling. If it's out of boredom or anxiety, put the phone down and do something else, like reading a book, going for a walk, or calling a friend. Four, designate no phone zones. Keep your phone out of the bedroom or away from the dinner table. This reduces the chances of late night or mindless scrolling. Five, practice gratitude. Start or end your day by writing down things you're grateful for. Focusing on the positive can help counterbalance the negativity. Breaking the doom scrolling habit isn't easy, but it's definitely worth it. Remember, your mental health is important, and taking small steps to protect it can make a big difference. So, next time you catch yourself doom scrolling, take a deep breath, put the phone down, and focus on something positive. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.